There's a lot of tough to change tires out there, whether it's because of their diameter, a non-compliant sidewall, or a cosmetically sensitive face. This Alloy 19.5 is a tough to change tire, not only because of its size and weight, but also because of the highly polished surface of this alloy wheel. Welcome to the Tough to Change series. This highly polished 19.5 alloy wheel has a hub bore center of 221 millimeters. That's absolutely huge. In order to change that on our pedestal changer, we need to install our optional truck cone kit. This optional truck cone kit requires us to remove the top of the pedestal and replace it with this spacer backing. This spacer backing is included with the truck cone kit and is secured to the changer using the included thumb screws. Once we have this backing plate installed, now we're ready to change this tire. This highly polished aluminum 19.5 is a 245-70R 19.5, so it's slightly wider than a lot of the other 19.5s out there, but is what makes it particularly tough to change is this highly polished alloy wheel. Not only does this alloy wheel have a mirror-like polished surface that we don't want to nick, mar, or distort in any way, but the hat of this wheel is absolutely enormous. That makes it very, very difficult to pull the bead of the tire over the head because you can't get enough lift with your tire bar. This specific wheel and tire is an excellent tire to be changed on a leverless tire machine for that reason. Let's use our wheel lift, get this wheel and tire up on the machine and get it secured to the pedestal securely with our truck cone mounting kit. The optional truck cone kit for this tire machine includes not just the backing spacer that we just installed, but also this extra large cone. Install the extra large cone in the hub bore center of your wheel like this. Next, use your smart lock device and insert it through the cone and into the pedestal of the tire machine. You can kind of give this a little bit of a move to make sure that everything's settled properly and then go ahead and rotate your smart lock up. And now this wheel and tire is clamped to the machine properly. Let's break the beads on this tire using our dynamic bead breaking rollers. We'll get our top roller into position and we'll bring up the bottom roller. So it's just barely touching the side of the tire. Then we'll rotate slowly and push up with this bottom roller to loosen that bottom bead. Once we've got it loosened, we can go ahead and remove this roller, get it out of the way. And next we can bring in our top roller to loosen the top bead. It's best to rotate slowly and take small bites while we're trying to loosen the bead here. This is also an excellent time to lube this tire and wheel. Using a good pace lube, it's a good idea to not only lube the bead of the tire, but also the drop center of the wheel. It makes it a lot easier to dismount this large, heavy tire. Leaving the upper roller in place, let's rotate our column forward and bring our leverless head in. We need to simply place the leverless head against the edge of the wheel and lock it in place using your thumb. Now that we have our head in place, let's go ahead and lower our bead hook. We can now bring up our top roller. And this tire will push past the bead hook. If it doesn't, rotate it two to three degrees counterclockwise and allow the tire to go over the top of the hook. Now it's time to dismount the top bead. Before we do that, we need to take our robo arm and push 180 degrees from our leverless head. This is going to help hold this side of the tire down into the drop center and allow us to very easily 
Lift up the bead of this tire while holding it in the drop center here. Now I like to back this tire up just a few degrees to unfurl this bead. Now that the bead is unfurled, we can now rotate clockwise and begin the dismounting phase of the top bead. Now for the bottom bead, we can get our leverless head out of the way. And let's bring our bottom roller up to dismount the bottom bead of this tire. Simply push up while you hold the tire in the drop center on the opposite side. Now we're ready to clean up this wheel and get our new tire prep to put on. Anytime you're mounting a thick bead tire such as this Load Range G19.5, it's always a good idea to lube the inner and outer bead. A nice thin layer of paste lube on the outer bead as well as the inside of the bead on both sides will make mounting this new tire easy and prevent you from damaging the tire. I also like to put a little bit of lube on the drop center of the wheel. That makes mounting the top bead much easier. Use our wheel lift. Tilt our column forward to get our leverless head back in place. Tire over the duck's back under its head. We can bring our top roller in and just put a small amount of pressure, just enough to stop the bead of the tire from climbing over the top of the head while we're mounting. Next, we'll get our robo arm ready. And we're gonna put just a little bit of pressure using our robo arm. And I like to kind of pull the tire down towards me while I use the robo arm foot down here close to the tread of the tire on this 19.5. And we'll go ahead and rotate. We get to about there. I like to relieve the pressure from our robo arm and continue the mounting phase. Now we're ready to take this heavy wheel and tire over to the inflation cage and seat the bead and inflate it to its proper pressure. <laughs>